Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a tips and tricks video to talk to you about how to move multiple devices on your home Wi-Fi network. If you're upgrading your router from the standard one that comes from your internet service provider to something more fancy like this TP-Link Archer AX11000. Now, this is a tip that one of my friends gave me, and it's been a lifesaver several occasions where I've tested out new routers, but also when I've upgraded my personal Wi-Fi router to something nicer and I wanted to move several devices and I have about 25 different devices on my home Wi-Fi network that includes everything from smart home cameras to TVs to tablets to all sorts of other things so moving each of those things individually would be a real pain but there is an easy way that you can do it if you upgraded your router and you just want to move from the bog standard one that comes from your internet service provider then there's good news because there's a really easy way to do it the first thing to do is to know what your Wi-Fi network is your standard one that came with the original router and have an idea of what the name and password it is for that now you can find that by logging into your router if you don't already know it usually you can do it by going to your browser and typing in 192.168.0.1 or there'll be a link that you can access the information for the router and in there you'll find the wireless SSID which is the name of the wireless network as well as the password now here I've changed it to bad network and I'll talk about why in a minute but originally this had a name like Sky Broadband Router and I changed that when I upgraded previously and renamed it to Azus and I'll show you why in a minute and that's the tip and that is essentially the tip what we're going to do is we're going to rename the new Wi-Fi network to the same as the old one and that is a really quick and easy way to switch over so the process is simple here I've gone into the new Wi-Fi router into the settings there and I've updated the network name SSID to Azus which is the same as my old one and I've updated the password to be the same as well. You'll notice I've only done that on the 2.4 gigahertz band not on the 5G one which I've left as standard with a different password so you can access them from different ways. Now once you've done that on the new router, you go into the old router settings again and here I've renamed the old one to something completely different. I've also turned off wireless access point, WPS, broadcast of the SSID name and you can leave synchronized settings on so it's the same across both but what I'm doing here basically is I'm making sure there aren't two Wi-Fi networks with the same name on them because that could confuse things. But now when you've renamed it to be the same as the old Wi-Fi network with the same password that essentially automatically switches everything that was already on your Wi-Fi network over to the new router without you having to do anything. All the devices will automatically connect and it's a really easy way of making that move. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.